Last month, I reported a rumor regarding Iron Man 3 that was pretty awesome, but also somewhat predictable. Now I'd like to discuss another rumor with you about the film that's even more awesome, yet not at all predictable. This rumor has been floating around on the internet for a few weeks now, but if you'd like to keep your Iron Man 3 viewing experience as pure as possible, good luck with that, then you have three seconds to turn off this video. Two, one, okay. So remember when all those screen grabs were floating around when the Iron Man 3 trailer debuted and everyone wondered who this Parker Posey looking chick is manhandling Tony Stark? Well, the actress is Stephanie Shostak, who failed to make an impression on movie going audiences in either Dinner for Schmucks or We Bought a Zoo, yet is apparently getting one of the most coveted roles in fandom, Janet Van Dyne, aka the Wasp. What's the evidence besides, I have to admit, an uncanny resemblance to the comic book version? While Marvel Studios Twitter tipster Roger Wardell has cryptically said fans will go crazy when they learn who she's playing, and Wardell seems to know his stuff. So much so that major comic book movie news sites have been quoting him for stories, including the rumor that Doctor Strange will appear in Thor The Dark World, but yet earlier this month some began to question the veracity of at least Wardell's sources, if not Wardell himself. And at about that time, Wardell did stop tweeting. But was that out of shame, or because he was ferreted out, or was trying to keep from being ferreted out? Is there a Marvel Studios leak? Wardell did accurately predict that the Falcon would be in Captain America the Winter Soldier, and it would be awesome if Marvel Studios had their own deep throat. Plus, Showstack does look like Janet Van Dyne, she is wearing a lab coat in this pic, and she's included in Marvel's official synopsis for Iron Man 3, right in the middle, before James Badge Dale, who plays one of the film's villains. Plus, as we saw from Thor with Hawkeye, Marvel Studios loves to tease their new characters with cameo introductions that not only build up hype around that new character, but the film said character will cameo in. But then, if this is true, let me ask you this. Can Marvel Studios really introduce Janet Van Dyne without also introducing Hank Pym? It's very possible, considering Ant-Man director Edgar Wright had originally planned for Scott Lang to don the helmet. But Marvel is yet to release an official synopsis for Ant-Man, set for 2015, six months after The Avengers 2, so Pym is down but not out. I'm rooting for the guy because while I'm all for strong female characters, as many of you know, Janet's relationship with Hank, both personally and professionally, is vital to both characters. What do you think? Is this Janet Van Dyne? Does her debut make you more excited to see Iron Man 3? Can she be introduced before Hank Pym or perhaps even without him ever entering the picture? And is Marvel Studios now overdoing it with female characters, considering that Rescue, Dr. Maya Hansen, and now Janet Van Dyne will all appear in Iron Man 3? Plus, do you believe in Roger Wardell? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.